So we're going to be taking a look at the shape of things to come when it comes to smart helmet technology. Some of which that are still in the pipeline and some of which that are an actual physical reality. If that's what you're interested in, stick around because it's coming up right now. As helmets become smarter and smarter, simply slapping a Bluetooth to the side of your helmet we think no longer really cuts the mustard. That's why we at the channel think that to be a truly smart helmet your helmet needs to comprise three things. First of all we think it needs to have a front and rear cam, secondly it needs to have a heads up display and thirdly it needs to have a kick ass audio system that incorporates a Google or Siri voice assistant. This way you can have a truly hands free experience. And if you're pleased to know all the helmets we're going to look at today carry exactly those features. So to start with let's take a look at the Now although the info on this helmet is a bit scarce we do know it's fitted with the latest mobile technology. To start with it has a twin heads up display that allows you to view what's going on behind and displays information from your connected Bluetooth devices or smartphone. The helmet also incorporates not one but two rear facing cameras that gives you an extended 210 field of vision that's going to help reduce if not eliminate any blind spots you have. Now the helmet's also fitted with a proximity detection system that alerts you of any vehicles that get a little bit too close. It's also fitted with two high definition speakers that not only gives real time information on the functionality of your helmet but can also be used with all of the connected devices including your phone, the internet and another helmet. Now, the the smartphone app that's available for this helmet allows access via the heads up display and can give you navigational information, can provide information on media and a whole host of information from your smartphone. The helmet can be charged by normal means but get this it also has a solar panel on top to help with the charging. Now although this helmet doesn't have a drop down sunshade the visor can be tinted with just the push of a button and I'm sure you'll all agree it absolutely hits the mark when it comes to the look of the helmet. Anyway on to our next helmet the So Foresight are claiming that the Mark 1 is the world's first truly smart helmet to have gone into full time production and features an array of truly jaw dropping features and is made from the lightest of materials being carbon. Now in the chin of the helmet it's got a super wide angled HD camera. Foresight have put it in the chin and not the crown of the helmet because they say when a visor's opened it'll distort the vision. It's got two high definition speakers that feed audio straight to the helmet from whatever media source is streaming. The Mark 1 also claims an unrivalled helmet app experience that feeds real time navigational information to the audio system and an internal signalling LED array. Now as the system costs upwards of a thousand and we all recognise that heart sinking feeling of when you drop your pride and joy, the Mark 1 has a specifically designed shock system built into its electronics housing. Now although the Mark 1 doesn't have a heads up display like our next helmet does, it does have that very unique LED internal signalling system, so we thought it was worth a mention. Now the first helmet we looked at was from a manufacturer called Cranium, now let's take a look at a second offering from them. Although the ICR Plus bears lots of similarities to Cranium's first helmet, it's had some significant work done on it to upgrade its smart capabilities, not to mention a superbly crafted facelift. While the helmet still maintains its twin 210 degree rear facing safety cameras, they have been moved to the top of the helmet. This greatly improves the field of vision it has, not to mention improving the aesthetics of the helmet. Now one of the main additions we found with the helmet was the addition of a front facing action cam, with an onboard storage capability of 256 gigabytes that's going to help you to capture your ride in stunning 4K quality. It also has built in GPS tracking and the Bluetooth system has full voice capability and the helmet's fitted with an auto tinting visor. Internally the helmet still utilises a heads up display but this has been reduced to one instead of two, merely to help reduce weight battery consumption and eye fatigue. Now although this helmet hasn't been put on sale yet, it is set to take the smart helmet race by storm when it does get released onto the worldwide market. So the next helmet we're going to take a look at is the Jarvis X's big brother, the highly anticipated Jarvis X.
So many of you will have heard of the Jarvis X, but not all of you will have heard about the highly anticipated arrival of the Jarvis XAR. Featuring a fully functional Bluetooth suite, and along with its front-facing action cam, the addition of a rear cam to give a full 360 panoramic view is exactly the Smart Features addition that this helmet needed. The XAR also boasts the world's first retractable heads-up display that can be employed when needed and is controlled via Smart Voice Activation, and can display a multitude of information straight from any connected device, including, but not limited to, speed, time, weather, phone calls, traffic information and navigational information. It also has the ability to take full advantage of its Google Assistant capabilities, as demonstrated here. Hey Google, have you subscribed to the channel yet? Of course I have Bobby Max and so should everybody else watching this review. The latest Jarvis has all the relevant safety standards, including CNS, DOT and of course ECE 2205. And as standard comes fitted with an anti-fog, anti-scratch and anti-glare visor. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up because that tells the YouTube algorithm that it's a good review and other people should watch it. My name's Bobby Max. Watch one of these two videos next. Thanks for watching this one. I'm out of here.